Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do a new problem as part of the Go Math 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. It's number 18 on the California C-Best Elementary Math Practice Test. I'm going to read it over. You'll notice that the chunk of the problem is a word problem. So we have a number sense word problem. And I want to read it over. And for this, I want to really uh, try and visualize uh, what I read. Okay? So you make sure you visualize what's going on here. A teacher has three packages of stickers. One package contains 56 stickers. Another package contains 48 stickers. And the third package contains 58 stickers. If the teacher divides all the stickers equally among 27 students, how many stickers will each student receive? And then we have options. Now take a moment, before we go on, take a moment and try and identify the central image in this problem. What's the, the, main, the main image that is repeated over and over again? Usually I think of this as the word, the noun, that appears more than any other noun in the passage. What do you get? Okay, I'm hoping that you said stickers, because it appears once, twice, three times, four times, five, six times in the question and then another five times in the answer choices. So the word stickers is on this page 11 times. This is our central image. So with that in mind, and on these number sense word problems and on the algebra word problems, you want to make sure that you, you identify that central image so that you can use it to help you work through the problem. Now we have stickers, so let's start with identifying the groups of stickers. We have one group of stickers that's 56 stickers. We have another group of stickers that is 48. And then we have a third package of stickers, which is 58. All right. And we and I guess in order to find out how much each student gets, we're going to have to aren't we going to have to add all these values together to get some total? Whatever that total is, we're going to have to divide that by 27. When, when I first did this problem, I was, I was going through it as fast as I can, and I, I think I saw the 56, I saw the 48, and, and I saw the 27. And I added up those three values, and I got the wrong answer. So I want you to be really careful when you see these values here. That's why I drew the picture. The picture just helps me think that I got a package of 56, a package of 48, and another uh, package of 58. All right, so that just reinforces the information there. And then this, this number sentence here, divided by 27, reinforces what I'm going to have to do when I finally get the sum. Now, um, when adding these up, too, I don't want you to make a careless mistake. So what I do is I just I pick two of them, 56, and I add it to 48, and I just work through that, that math real quick. I don't want to, make, I don't want to do a careless mistake and, and have to redo it again. So I get that answer. I feel good with 104. I'll add the 58 to it. I keep on going. Uh, I got a 2, carry the 1. I got a 6. I got 162 stickers divided by 27 stickers. 162 divided by 27. Now looking at this answer choice here, just a, a quick, a real quick approximation. If I, I just were to eyeball this super quickly, and be like, this, if this was 150 and this was 25, then my answer would be approximately, you know, uh, six stickers. What, what a quick approximation does is it, it confirms that the answer choice has to be within this region here. Somewhere, possibly in this region here. I did it real quickly, so, so I'm going to have to go back. But, but it allows me to, with confidence, eliminate these other options. And if we, if we were analyzing these choices before we even started, I'm hoping that you would have seen that the, there are two major groups. The group where the, a low group and a high group of stickers. And this is a fork. 
And by being able to eliminate these three choices, it's going to uh, reduce my chances of getting the wrong answer and drastically improve my chances of getting the correct answer. All right, so this was just an approximation. I just used the strategy to sort of increase my chances of getting the right answer, but now I'm going to actually have to find it. So we're going to have to do 162 divided by 27. And when you do this, you want to take your time. I'm going to start with the 6 and see if it goes in 6 times. So I'll put a 6 here. I want to see if it goes in approximately 6 times. Let's see. 6 times tw uh, 27 is uh, 42, so I put the 2 here, carry the 4. 6 times 2 is 12, plus the 4 is, 100, is 16. Look at that. It goes in exactly 6 times. So my approximation was right on. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. I hope you like this video. Stay tuned for some more. Take care. Bye-bye.